In the early morning hours of June 30th, 1908, deep in the remote wilderness of Siberia, the earth trembled. It was a quiet summer day near the Tunguska River. The sun had only just begun to rise. The birds stirred in the vast taiga forest. Life went on as usual, until without warning, the sky split apart. A blinding fireball tore through the atmosphere, trailing a white-hot tail of light. Witnesses even hundreds of miles away described the sky as being ripped open. Then came a shock wave, so powerful it knocked people off their feet and shattered windows. In an instant, over 800 square miles of dense forest were flattened. Trees were scorched, snapped like matchsticks, and laid out in a perfect radial pattern, pointing away from the blast center. 80 million trees fell in silence. The explosion's force is estimated at 10 to 15 megatons of TNT, comparable to a modern thermonuclear weapon. But strangely, no impact crater was ever found. What caused such destruction? For decades, it remained a mystery. Expeditions to the area didn't begin until the 1920s. What they found was astonishing. A vast zone of devastation, but no meteorite fragments, no crater. Just flattened forest and stories of a fiery object in the sky. Modern scientists now believe the culprit was a cosmic visitor, a meteoroid, perhaps 50 to 60 meters wide, traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour. As it entered Earth's atmosphere, it exploded midair, five to 10 kilometers above the ground, unleashing an unimaginable amount of energy. Some have speculated about other causes, volcanic gas, antimatter, even alien spacecraft. But no theory holds up like the airburst of a space rock. And so, in the frozen heart of Siberia, the Tunguska event remains a powerful reminder of our planet's vulnerability to the cosmos.